You asked, we answered. Merch is now on sale. We have stickers, phone cases, hoodies, shirts, and more. All proceeds help fund future seasons of the Totem Pool. Look for the link in the description for more info. Enjoy the show! Okay, I don't know why Nick's boat was for me. Like, I did nothing to the boy. I don't even really know the boy like that. Like, honestly, what's, what's, what, 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 what was the reason for putting my name up there? You were the only one that said my name. So obviously you didn't do nothing. You didn't have a strategy, you didn't have anything. I basically threw it. No, 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 it's okay. It's all right. And there were only, only two names flying around. And I wasn't gonna vote for either of them. This is by far the worst thing that could have happened. But. Uh. I didn't want to be part of okay, it. Okay, but let's go in Two other people decide. I don't know who you Let's vote for her. I gave you the pieces. What are you talking about? Putting my name on the board for what? It didn't do nothing. So you know what? You don't waste a vote. How about that? Denise and Hannah are out and we're ready for the next round. This is the Saber and Sip Challenge. The winner of this will be the top of the totem pole. In this challenge, you and your team will take a tube and fill up a cup of water as best as you can. The tube must go through every player. When all the water is gone from the coffee pots, the team with the most water will move on to the next round. But first, someone has to sit out. Kadia. So I get to sit this one out, already advances to the second one, I don't have to lift the fingernail or anything. So you know what, I'ma just chill, sip my tea, and watch everybody else struggle. And now, we're gonna pick team captain. Tim. <laughs> Lydia. <laughs> oh man. Chandler, Lydia, Micah, Allison, and Mason are on Team Saver. Emery, Tim, Garcelle, Nick and Jackson are on team SIP. On your mark, get set, go! Right, Mason. Here we go. Mason. Here we go. We're gonna have to transfer the water through every player and into a cup. No, 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 yeah. No, no, you have to suck it in. But the thing is, the, the pole that we have to use has holes on both ends. My first thought when they got the tube was to use it like a straw. And then right when I'm thinking that, someone's like, oh, Tim, you should use it as a straw. And then, then we used it as a straw and it worked really well. Alright, you ready? Oh, wrong one. Alright, keep strong, keep strong. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Alright, we're doing good, we're doing good team. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got this. Alright, far well, far well. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You got it, you got it, you got it. my ear yelling at me, but I'm really happy he did that because I was kind of lost a little bit during it. Um, ignoring the fact that the straw was in your mouth and it's now in my hands and there's spits probably in that water. Just, never mind, we're not talking about it. It's fine. We had a good strategy. Oh, 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 oh,
Congratulations, you've won. Padilla, why don't you step on over there? We'll resign teams. Mason, Chandler, and Lydia are on Team Saver. Micah, Allison, and Kadia are on Team Sip. Go! Okay, go back to the used to cut him off to not have him get any of the water, and then he pushes me from behind, so I'm not gonna let him make me look like a punk, so of course I push him back. Pushing me, like, that just like put me over the edge, so I started, I started pushing him back, like, no one's gonna push me over. Congratulations to you three. Now the good news is that one of you will be the top of the totem pole. The bad news is that not all of you can. However, there is a twist. When I say go, you can take and expose or a secret advantage. But if you do, you knock yourself out of being the top of the totem pole. I made it all the way to the end of the challenge, but I think I might want another power instead of getting to the top of the totem pole. I want to stay a little bit low key, and I'd rather have a power than have to place everybody and show everybody where my mind is at. Do you want an expose, a secret advantage, or the top of the totem pole? The choice is yours. I'm taking the advantage and I'm gonna use it to my advantage. I know that Allison has both an expose and a secret advantage. Um, we haven't had a chance to talk about what they are yet. Because you two chose to take an advantage or an expose power for the rest of the game, congratulations, Micah. You are the top of the totem pole. Just got the top of the totem pole, baby. You know what's up? Thank you. Micah, you are the top of the totem pole. At this point, you may place the rest of your totem pole. Finally, I got the power. I can do whatever I want. Allison. Good deal. I put Mason on top of the totem pole. I trust him completely. Garcelle. Jackson. Jim. Yeah. 
Feels weird being at the bottom to him, pool, especially since I was the top last. Yeah. Come on. Again? Lydia. Not surprised that Mike could put me at the bottom, but let's just hope this doesn't become a trend. Emery, at this point, you may come up and select your switch. Okay, my pick. I get to pick this time. We're gonna pick Allison. I know Allison will save me. Okay. No, I knew she was gonna pick me. Okay, I'm gonna switch. You know, Chandler, looking at a lot of people and I just can't really trust him. So, you know, why not? I'm not tied to him. Emery and Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that girl just painted a target on her back. It's nice to have my honey next to me, but like, not at the bottom. Chandler, you are the new bottom of the totem pole. At this point, you may pick your defender. Hmm. I know who I can't trust with this. <laughs> I got more friends than you. <laughs> You can try as hard as you can, but it's gonna be a lot harder to get me out than you think. Okay, who won? Why? He said who wanted it. I said me. Raise my hand. Nobody else did. I'm gonna keep you safe. Just know that. I got your back. I want to be Chandler's defender because honestly, you get safe from elimination, so two birds will one stone. This is my first time putting my trust in her. Kind of worried, but not really. I know she'll do the right thing. Oh, stop it. I don't know my damn it's all broken. <laughs> Kadia, you are safe from the vote, but at this point you must decide Chandler's fate. Will you decide to save him or take power? Okay. I choose. Kadia, please save him. Please, 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 please. I got your back, man. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The next to bottom player is eliminated. <sighs> oh Thanks. my gosh. I honestly feel like she should have taken the power the way I could have been eliminated and Lydia could have extended her game because I'd rather her be in it. Okay, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> I didn't want to, but it just happened. I didn't know it was gonna happen, so can you really blame me? I'm just playing the game like everybody else. <laughs> uh.
I'm sorry though, I'm sorry to see you. He's still my girl. <laughs> You know, I didn't really want Lydia to go, and I guess that's the way it had to be. Lydia has been eliminated, so congratulations to the final 10 of you. However, somebody else has to go. Head inside, we will be voting shortly. Thank you, how's all? Yeah, that was very awkward. So, thank you. I ain't going nowhere, baby. Last time I was gonna vote Dia off too, yeah. but then when Hannah started trash talking her, that's when I switched. Okay. So, what if we voted Kadia off first time? Oh, you're right. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Kadia's already safe. She's going to be here for another round regardless. Uh, well, yikes. I guess I forgot about that small rule. What are you thinking? I haven't got any idea yet. I'm trying to see how what everybody else is trying to do to others first. Okay, so there's two strategies. We can either pick off Chandler like the gazelle, or we can use his weakness to recruit him to a majority. And then what yeah. I say is, I think that, uh, what's his name? What's his Mason? name? Mason? I think Mason is like, <coughs> he, like really strategic, and he's oh, like really quiet. My strategy to get Mason out is to convince everybody that he is a threat, and he is very sleuthy, kind of unpredictable. Getting him out now would save us a lot of trouble, and it would just be a really good idea. To just cut him right now and I feel like he'll like yeah. but I don't think Mason knows he's gonna be getting any votes this round I feel like if all five of us vote in the same person then I feel safe this round I don't feel like many if at all any votes will be cast towards me I feel like I've done a good job of going under the radar and staying out of the way of people uh, I'm not stepping on too many toes or anything so I don't think I'm on anybody's uh, hit list I mean, we had majority. I have an idea. Well, since obviously we can't get to Kadia, why not Jackson? Jackson. Jackson. Honestly. He's just going to keep, keep getting more competitive and not form true alliances. If we have Chandler, we've got six. That's the majority. Six yeah. to four. Yeah, we should get Morgan. Or was, this, wait, was Mason? I don't know. Which is Mason. Here, guys, stay here. I want to check this out. He does kind of jump around. I don't know. He's still with, um, yeah. was it Kadia? There's a group that wants to talk to you if you want to talk. Okay. Tell yeah. so him I'll you? be there in a minute. Yes, sir. So, Jackson is trying to pull me into a room. I'm already talking to somebody. So, first off, kind of rude to interrupt. I feel like Jackson is definitely more of a threat than Tim. Um, Jackson is somebody that I feel like we need to get out as soon as possible because he's somebody that's going to make a lot of alliances, but he's not going to stick with them. He's more likely to backstab somebody than Tim is. And uh, Tim is over there too, but I'm just thinking, I don't know, like, he's a good one, but also I feel like Tim also. I don't know if Jackson's the right choice. I'm leaning on uh, eliminating Tim. How many people do they have right uh, now? Is, uh, is uh, Micah in there? What do you feel? Oh, was, I like him. Micah's role was us in the previous I round. I helped him in the first challenge. Yeah, Micah was with us last round. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't know if you're missing anything. Guys, there are Chandler's, Chandler's over there on the, at the table. Oh, wait, we haven't left. We have six people here. Awesome. Hey, Chandler, would you like to talk? Here, let's go in the bedroom. Oh, you're kind of swerving, grab the bee and run back to the other table. So would you agree Jackson has a pretty good chance of winning this thing? We were just talking about how he's very competitive, but right now he's trying to keep it low key. I feel like he's like, so he's a very smart guy, so he's trying to strategize this. He probably has like some sort of plan to like get through everybody and he could flip at any moment. I don't know, because like, I feel like, like, Intelligent, really smart people like that, like really only looking out for themselves, you know? Yeah. Like, B, I wonder what's happening. I went down there to try to grab Chandler. 
Oh, no, I don't like this. Can you, can you please go here, like, for one second? I don't really have to. Okay, because... And they all looked at me, and they gave me a really uneasy feeling, and I was like, oh, no! I'm gonna be gone! <laughs> can you give us names, or... No, not really. Yeah, no, we were trying to... We were like... Because we... I I didn't, I didn't get a name from her. Like, who, who, who is she? I don't think she even knows. I think she was just trying to listen to what we were saying. She's probably, she's probably gonna run and tell now. Right. Listen, what we need to get next time is see a thing that have a real Okay. I'm definitely on board with getting Jackson out because I see him as a potential threat. He's very vocal, he's a leader, so I know that he could be somebody that could realize that I'm a threat, and I know that he could try to get me out. So I all right, you know, I'm starting to feel good. Like a group is forming. Feel like I'm getting people behind me, and I'm getting up behind other people. It's gonna be a good time. After I shook hands with Emory and Nick, I felt pretty solid about our conversation, and I knew that I could trust them. Like, so like everybody else, like I. Great to work with and will save, mm -hmm. but I won't save anyone at the expense of you or Garcelle. Okay. Garcelle and Allison are the two that I'm closest with. They're the two that I will save over anybody else. It feels really good to have a solid alliance in this game and someone that I can trust because, you know, all the rest of the people, you just can't trust them. No one. So. I don't feel all right about this vote. No, yeah. I think they're targeting me. I don't know. I don't know. I have a gut feeling. I have a gut feeling that they're gonna try to come for me. <laughs> I don't deserve that. All right. Okay. What's going on? Okay. So what are you feeling right now? What's the vibe? What's the mood? What are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Thoughts on Mason. Mason. What about him? He's crying out. I have this gut feeling about Mason. I just don't think he's very loyal, very faithful, can't trust him, and I want him out. Sure, he's a great guy, but right now, Mason, I, I don't want you here. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel all cozy and safe. No, I want you to hit it, hit the road. I mean, I really haven't come to a decision. I want to keep my cards close to my chest. I don't want to reveal too much. I'm still kind of, you know, Filling out what each person is like and seeing their character traits. What's our topic? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're talking, and I realized, and me and my group realized that the house is real quiet and there's no one around. And so, best guess, they're in that bedroom talking about stuff I don't know. So, you know, I had to bust in right then and there. Hey, what's up? Okay, How's it going? Okay, coming here. So, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. We're just wondering oh, where it is. I'm worried that it might be me. I need to get to the bottom of it. What's going on? Is that taking one Okay, I'm willing to flip. Do what? There's really no one to flip to. Okay. What does it mean? Because if it's me, I understand. Like, can you just leave? Like, I really just want this conversation to be over because we're picking you, okay? Like, my decision's been made. What are they saying in here? Huh? What are they saying in here? They're saying either you or Mason. I'm really considering using my exposed power. I'm not gonna lay over and just let this happen. I have to do something. It sounds like you guys have a strong majority in the Chandler's pretty much swing by you guys at your table. You've got five and he's a six. So if you're all going well, for me, then I'm out of here. How was I wasn't sure about Chandler. Like, they come and act like we're gonna have a truthful conversation. You were just talking about us for 10 minutes. We ain't gonna have a heart to heart. Are you kidding me? They come in and they don't make eye contact with me, Allison, or Tim. are like, what do y'all wanna do? We're like, are you kidding me right now? Like, of course we're voting for one of them. So how are we gonna tell you, oh, you with the hair, like, right in front of me, I'm voting for you. Like, you're so dumb. <laughs> it was so awkward. <laughs> It is time for the elimination. Everyone, please come to the living room.
can't get a read on Chandler. We took him to the room, but he wouldn't say anything, so I'm gonna have to expose him. Allison is dead to me right now. So, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm going to vote against her right now, but her time's coming. Oh, I feel like I'm kind of the swing vote right now. I don't know if I should do Mason, I don't know if I should do Jackson. But I got to do so You have a secret advantage or an exposed power. Please use it now if you'd like to. I have an exposed card I want to use. It says, select one player to answer the following question. Who is your target? And I'd like to ask that to Chandler. You. It is time to reveal the votes. The person with the most votes will be eliminated from the totem pole. I vote to eliminate Mason. My vote to eliminate is Jackson. I love the guy, but he spit on me during the challenge, so I vote to eliminate Mason. I vote to eliminate Jackson. I don't know his name. I always forget. Is it Morgan or There's Micah, Mason, Micah. Mason. Mason. I vote to eliminate Mason. I vote to eliminate so, I really made this decision walking in here, and um, I vote to eliminate. I vote to eliminate. I vote to eliminate. I guess I'm going to go ahead and vote for. The player with the majority of the votes. Jackson. Yeah, I knew it. Jackson, at this point you may say your goodbyes to your fellow players. Well, the reason I used the exposed card, the exposed card on Chandler is because once Lydia was gone, we knew that he was the swing vote for the situation. Our team, who was in the, um, in the bedroom, wasn't able to get to him like the people at the table, and that's just kind of the way things were, so I understand, but it was uh, great to play with you guys. Next time on The Totem Pole, the four eliminated players so far are about to battle it out. I vote to eliminate Jackson. So, I really made this decision walking in here and uh, I vote to eliminate Jackson. I vote to eliminate Jackson. I vote to eliminate Jackson. And it's between two people, but I guess, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and vote for Jackson. <laughs>